Good afternoon. In September, Yorkshire and Humber Police Region said of all the crime types, the threat and risk posed by modern day slavery is the greatest of all. And they added to that, that the force has several ongoing investigations into allegations of labor exploitation involving West Yorkshire businesses. In each case, we have found that recruitment agencies have been used to recruit labor. People like Ferenc Illis and Yanis Orsos, who supplied workers at three pounds an hour into a bed factory in Dewsbury, a bed factory that supplied um, John Lewis and Next. An interesting case because a senior manager from Next was in the dock in the court case for four and a half hours defending his company's practices to five barristers. That's one case. These workers were paid two pounds a day. Another case, the Marcin brothers, operated in and around Derby, earned 1.6 million pounds from the workers that they sent out to work. Another case in County Armagh in Northern Ireland, uh, Ewan Lacatus, known as the minister, kept 15 people in appalling conditions in a three bedroom house and forced his victims to work up to 70 hours per week. The types of gang masters, the types of informal labor providers supplying the workers into any industry where they can find a market. The UK Human Trafficking Centre statistics has a block called other the vast proportion of that other is recruitment companies. On its own as a sector, it's the most prevalent sector of any in the UK. You will see in there that construction features as well. Cindy talked about the report that the ETI and HALT have just produced. Um, it's, a, it's a great report. Um, and that's highlighted to me a couple of key points. It has said that addressing modern slavery is now becoming a business critical issue. It added to that in a later section that companies are beginning to see risks in new areas as they start to map their supply chains, including temporary and agency labor recruitment. In the UK at the moment, um, there is uh, a, a solution or a service that's been used for a number of years uh, in, uh, for internal auditing of labor providers and for third party auditing of labor providers. Uh, it's known as Complier um, and uh, is used in very many businesses throughout the UK. Looking beyond the UK, there is a global casualization of labor, what's been called a race to the bottom for sourcing labor as the pressure comes on driving labor costs down. A, a growing trend for low paid labor to migrate from the formal to the informal sector. Veris Maplecroft of its 10 top human rights risks for 2016 put at the top number one labor brokers building trust in ethical recruitment program that we've been working on for some time is clearview a global labor provider certification scheme a pioneer pioneering global supply chain initiative to drive fair recruitment practice in the labor supply of vulnerable workers um, it's been under development for a long time now. Um, we have on our technical advisory committee, many retailers, many brands, many suppliers, many audit bodies, many human rights experts, many labor providers. And we launched this in summer 2017, and you will hear more about this. Stronger Together is a program that we run a multi-stakeholder business collaboration launched in October 2013. Its objective, a fairly direct and straightforward objective, is to reduce forced labor, labor trafficking, and other hidden third-party labor exploitation. These brands here are the development partners, the project sponsors, 
the supporting partners involved in that program. To date, since our launch in October 2013, we have produced free tackling modern slavery in business uh, and uh, toolkits and a free tackling modern slavery in global supply chain toolkits. We have made a wide range of resources, free resources available on our website. We provide training and resource and support solutions. We are signposted by the Home Office and the Independent Anti-Slavery Commissioner. And to date, we have trained over 2,000 managers from over 1,000 employers with a reach of over 700,000 workers. Our 2017 plans are for a phased overseas rollout of um, the uh, Stronger Together program and a launch in the UK into new sectors, including construction. Stronger Together has been working with the Chartered Institute of Building and uh, we have developed a free tackling modern slavery uh, in construction toolkit. We have put together a wide range of tools and resources, posters, leaflets, videos, um, policies, We've put together regional supply chain uh, workshops and a range of training solutions. Stronger Together is a, it provides support for business. It talks in the language of business. It provides all its resources, all its guidance, free of charge to be downloaded by anyone who wants to use them from our website. It's open source. The whole point of it is that people take it, they do whatever they want with it, but they use it. We want to get this message out as far and as wide as quickly as possible. The Stronger Together Tackling Modern Slavery program in construction will launch early in 2017. Um, we are now receiving expressions of interest from leading construction companies who want to be part of that program. If you do, come and have a chat with me, come and have a chat with Chris from the CIOB or my colleague, Yonting, after uh, today's session. Thank you.